Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Leo. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Um, Leo, just before I begin, I just want to say that I'm currently accepting private reading requests. So if you would like to book a personal reading with me, please send your request to the email address in the description box below this video. So let's get back to your reading now. Okay, so what I see here uh, for you. Um, now this could be you, could be the other person, but there's going to be a sudden, sudden uh, news. Uh, news that suddenly breaks a period of silence, I feel. Um, and I feel like this person, though, uh, even though they weren't talking, they were watching. Okay, I feel like this person, um, from what I see here, uh, has learned or has been learning something. Okay, so let's go to uh, the overall message here of the alchemist to find out what exactly has been happening. Well, the alchemist is like... Um, it's like it's a bit like the tower it, it indicates some type of destruction that is taking place or uh, or that needs to take place so it something what it's saying is that something must be destroyed in order to rebuild from the ashes okay so that could even be just a way of thinking somebody's way of of seeing a way of being the card is saying that in order to create what you desire, something must first be dismantled to make space for the new. Okay, so, um, but it is the alchemist, and in alchemy, nothing is ever truly destroyed. Okay, so uh, the new is built on the foundations of what has come before. And there are lessons to be learned from the rubble. And so I feel like this is what your person has been doing or you, depending who is who in this, uh, in this energy, in this reading. Um, and so... We have the symbol of the partner um, on top of this. So the partner, um, well, the partner uh, could be, um, it could be anyone that you've had a significant relationship or that you wish to or still wish to. And maybe you may be asking questions or they may be asking questions. Okay, so they might be wanting to know how you feel about them or how you feel, how you still feel about them, if anything at all, right? Um, uh, do you still care? Would you still be interested? You know, what if they reached out to you? Um, these are the things that they are thinking about, okay? Um, would you be happy to hear from them or would you reject them? So, um, that's what's going on at the heart of the reading and it is the central issue. Okay, so um, I feel like this person has learned from the lessons of the past. Okay, I feel like this person most likely with the emperor sitting up here and what I'm seeing down here, I feel like this person got angry and banned you from the kingdom or you did this to them one way or the other. Okay. Um, but now they want you back because the emperor uh, he's very stubborn and set in his ways but he he is he loves his partner okay um, and so 
uh, it's still in choppy waters, but he is wanting to uh, to take it out of choppy waters, to uh, move away from troubled waters to calmer waters, because he still loves you. There's still a connection here. There's the two of cups. He may have got over emotional. Okay, so he may have gotten over emotional. He may have let his the emotions may have run the show back then over whatever made him angry, and uh, he now regrets that. So because he lost his cool, there was a breakdown in communication and ultimately uh, the couple broke up, okay? Um, and uh, for some, it, I mean, they could have reacted like that out of jealousy because this card can speak to jealousy and even third parties, okay? So there could have been a confrontation um they could have initiated this confrontation because of uh, a jealousy issue okay so um i feel like well we have the man here watching who has learned but we have another uh, man over here okay and uh this is uh somebody who is very direct and very open okay or or they could go the opposite so what i think is that in the past they were the opposite of that i feel like they were very closed because of this king i see here so i feel like they were very closed in the past but i feel like over here with this knight they wish to open up and this is in the future here so this is what's coming so i feel like yes they were closed but now i feel like they are ready to open up okay that's what I feel it is. So they're right now, currently, they're on the verge. They haven't done it yet. But they are standing in this doorway to opportunity. They're still armored. They're still guarded. Their shield is up. But they're studying the idea. You can see them one, standing there, their hands on their hips. Hmm, should I or shouldn't I? <laughs> this is either you or it is them. Keep that in mind. Um, this has been a difficult uh love connection um this is a possible twin flame connection here um i feel like i feel like um hmm, they're looking back at the journey because they're standing there they're, they're really thinking the head's tilted to the side they're wondering they're questioning um should i or shouldn't i again it takes me back to the partner here maybe uh, wondering if they would be uh rejected or not if you would be happy to see them or not you know that type of thing um should they extend a new invitation um, they, I think that there's a realization that uh, in their reflections with the hangman here, uh, that they were to blame for uh, for the breakup. Okay, so uh, because this is uh, in this, there's oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm getting that they're thinking that you might point the finger at them, that you might blame them for something okay so um, that uh, uh, you would know what it is um, I feel like they want to put the effort but right now it's like with these two cards side by side we can see that they feel like they're missing information so that they're standing there and they're studying the scene they're still watching here um, they I feel like they know they were to blame they made a mistake uh, but they don't know how you feel about them anymore okay um, uh, the high priestess maybe they didn't listen to their intuition in the past and uh, this is how they landed here and maybe they've got that figured out now uh, that you know it's the time when you don't listen to your intuition that you'll make your biggest mistakes and so now I feel like they're more prepared to listen to their intuition okay they they've been running from something over here with this eight of swords um, they have been in denial of certain things um, 
connected to the relationship or the the breakup uh, or uh, what actually happened and you know they were in denial but no more okay no more they are kind of being uh, still uh, a little how would I say a little held hostage by uh, by the words they said, by the deeds they've done, um, by their own painful thoughts and fears that, well, maybe they, they don't uh, love me. So, th so that's what's holding them back, uh, their thoughts, their fears. But remember, the alchemist is saying, let go of that, learn from the past, um, and and rebuild you know and so they really this is a card of wanting to get somebody back learn from your past mistakes wanting to get somebody back but not feeling feeling like they don't have enough information but that the the sun is very low in the in the sky but it will rise and uh they will get this clarity uh if they don't have it yet they will be getting it and uh uh, so there's our emperor and he's he wants back his empress you know um he banished her but now he wants her back he's uh, had a change of mind he realized maybe he lost his temper lost his cool went too far um made a mistake and now he he wants to make it up to her and wants to start over from scratch with his empress he wants to apologize to tell her how much he loves her okay but he just doesn't know if she loves him back anymore or if she loves him anymore because of what he he said he said or did that's 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 what this is and so he i think he wants to apologize for his behavior he went too far in the past he got angry he got jealous he may have made uh hurtful accusations because of that because his words were coming from a very painful place okay a painful memory that um uh, that w had nothing to do with this but yet everything to do with this because it hit a trigger and now it it hit this like it caused this and he's thinking about that and he's remembering it you know and um it makes him very emotional here you can see the emotions uh working and uh, he's looking at something and he's uh very very emotional And um, he wants to present a new opportunity to you. And that's what he wants. And um, so you will be getting communication. It's right here. The ascension. This is how to proceed. See, he's wondering how to proceed. There he is there. He, and he's very emotional. Um, and... Uh, He's, he's again in this doorway to opportunity, same king that's here, um, only this time he's got his emotions under control. And uh, that is what he needs to do, actually, uh, is get his emotions under control uh, enough to be able to proceed with this. Okay, Because I think he's in great fear of having lost you for good. Follow his intuition. Uh, that's what he needs to do. Um, follow his intuition. Uh, don't let those fears overwhelm you. Stay in control. The chariot will only move forward if the mind and uh, and the and the emotions are in control. If one of them goes out of balance, the chariot can overturn or swerve, uh, and we don't want that. So, communication, a new offer. I feel like this person that's coming is very vulnerable. You uh, may not be sure 
if you, if the um, uh, if the apology is truly sincere you may try to shed light oh yeah look at that on that there oh my god there's the empress wow the emperor and the empress okay so it is a path you really want to to go down you can see the gate is open but you may see it as a challenge and a lot of work because you are building or rebuilding from scratch remember the alchemist here okay uh, did they really learn their lessons you know uh, is their apology sincere or is this only going to uh, happen again down the road you know and um, so she is foreseeing uh, uh, um, some some troubles ahead here. So she's questioning because you see the twist and turn of the path as it goes up the hill. So this is what she's looking at. And uh, she, she kind of sees those twists and turns are, are like little obstacles in the path, you know. And so she is wondering uh, if the, the offer is sincere, if they really mean it, and will they uh, stick it out, you know. Will they, uh, yeah, will they stick it out? Have they learned their lesson, basically, with the alchemist, right? This is about lessons learned. And the, and the wheel of fortune oh my god well you can't forget that <laughs> so um i think that you you may hesitate somewhat uh but ultimately it is the path the desired path uh and i feel uh, of course that you will step into it okay um s somewhat cautiously <laughs> So that is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you. Bye for now.